If you machine parts, you need a way to post your code. So I'm sure you've heard Fusion 360 offers over 100 post processors included with the initial installation, an online library full of additional post processors available to download for free, and a dedicated post processor forum where you can ask a question to get help from other Fusion and HSM users. If you didn't know about any of those things, don't worry. I linked to all of them in the description. But what if I told you there's even one more way to make quick changes to the output code without ever even opening the configuration file? In the post process dialog, there are editable post properties for every post processor. These properties allow little tweaks that vary from post to post. For example, with the Haas post, I can check the use chip transport to add the corresponding machine code to the beginning and end of a program. Safe Start All Operations makes it easier to pause between operations where there isn't a tool change. If you aren't sure what a property does, there are helpful tooltips when you hover over the checkbox or input. I do want to call out Use Sequence Numbers, which will get rid of the leading N sequence number when unchecked. Pretty handy if your controller has low memory and needs the program as small as possible. In the resultant G-code, we can see the M31 for the chip auger and the added block for the safe start in the first operation. Other post processors will have different properties. The Heidenhain post has a property for tilt preference. The Herco post has properties for ISNC or BNC mode and machine axes. One final post property to call out that is available for most posts is the parametric feeds option, which will allow you to edit feeds at the control. Here's the resulting Mazak code on the right, with the parameterized feeds now in the code. If you run Fusion 360 on a Windows PC, your post dialog will look a little different than mine. Something more like this. Even though the windows look different, the post properties are the same. This post dialog actually offers a few advantages over the Mac dialog. If you store your posts locally, you can quickly find the directory path for installed or personal posts and copy-paste into Windows Explorer for easy editing and management. Unfortunately, no such shortcut exists for Mac users. I put the directory addresses below, but I'd recommend using the Cloud Post library as the posts will be easy to access from the data panel. You can open the post configuration file directly from the dialog and view or edit the post on your own if you so choose. We recommend using Visual Studio with the Autodesk Cam plugin installed for post editing. The plugin will add helpful colors and autofill options while you're editing. This is currently Windows only, but we're working on a Mac plugin as well. Before you edit your posts, know that this will change the way your machine runs and proceed with caution. Also be sure to save outside the install directory so you don't overwrite the generic post. You can set the save location of posted code using the three dots next to the output folder path. And the same list of post properties we saw in the Mac version is listed down at the bottom of the window. There are just yes and no options instead of checkboxes. Last but not least, if you're currently using brackets to view your G-code, I created an extension a while back to highlight certain words so it's a bit easier to read. Click on the little extensions block and search for G-code in available extensions. If you have any other post processor resources, tips, or tricks that I didn't mention, please share them in the comments. Happy posting.